Okay. His guard. Okay. I don't know what I'm going through. <laughs> noise. Okay. Confidential. Summary. The Bureau has many internal security personnel. The Hiss was quick to take advantage of this fact. Hiss guards used standard-issue bullpup rifles they carried prior to corruption, while the armored guards carry pump-action shotguns. They have no observed paranatural abilities with the exception of that certain Hiss guards are protected by a shielding, dense, shielding of dense Hiss resonance capable of stopping bullets. Is this shielding a result of prolonged hiss corruption? Does the hiss mature in organic hosts over time? More data is needed. Do the hiss target individuals with combat training? Does the hiss have level that level to cognizance? Level of cognizance. Does it utilize hosts for tasks they are best suited to? Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat? These are all questions for later, though it is obvious that corrupted individu individuals retain knowledge of, on the use of their weapons. Refer to file redacted for full report. Director Trench photograph. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility, the privilege. Zachariah Trench. Well... I is this the band who we found dead? It lo I think so. That was the costs unread. Service weapon. Containment procedure. No unique procedures required. Service weapon O O P one K E. <sighs> Description. Description para utility. There we go. Here's the uh, prefix. The object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows para utilitarians <laughs> to redacted. This object must only be bound by an individual seeking the role of redacted. The object will determine whether redacted. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by the redacted, through, though their criteria is unknown. Background. The object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular hypothesis, redacted. Many forms throughout history, redacted. Mjolnir, Excalibur, Vernu, Varunastra, all weapons that redacted of their wielders. If objects of power, OOP, are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. And this, if this is the case, redacted. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.1 for de more details. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're, well, fucked. Thank you. 
I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. I don't think fired means the same thing to you as it does to me. Can I? Nope. Just have to put up with it. <sighs> the building changed again. Executive Affairs and Central Executive. Oh, hey. Director Jesse Faden. Oldest house discovered August 4th, 1964. I'm the executive director. Sorry, the director. Oh, there is a crash button. Oh, I wasn't expecting this much action. There they are. Not uh, very great. You're not hanging. You're floating. You guys are all floating. Um, there we go. Okay. What happens? Wait. These aren't plugged in. None of these are plugged in. How are... That's a strange effect. Fascinating. Clearance level 2, you do not have the clearance of what? Undefined reading, undefined reading. I need a higher level? Wait, did I get that by... My goodness! Good is the destruction. Wow. Fascinating. Why don't I do this? <gasps> okay, I should probably stop destroying my own place. Because apparently this is place is mine now. Oh my goodness! Why are I, why? Fascinating. Uh, shelter, max, max occupancy, six persons. Are we counting people who are probably not dead? Probably not alive, I mean.
Okay. Federal Bureau of Control, confidential. For Marshall's eyes only. Marshall, we had, we checked out the suspected AWE altered world event in Duluth. Wasn't anything. Just like the house fire before this. And the malfunctioning clothes dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort the fake AWEs from the real things. Or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch, next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. Isn't the hope that you don't have to do anything? Isn't it better to hope for nothing to do and instead of hope for something to do? Because that means you're in bad... in a bad place. I do not have the clearance level. I am the... Oops. I'm apparently the executive. Okay, what are I doing here? Nothing? Okay, cool. I was supposed to head that way. I want to head this way first. Okay, so you can't... You can't just charge through these desks. Dinner reservations for at 7 p.m. at... Chazambre. Wife will meet you there. Don't be late. Flowers are ready for you at the lobby. Rece at lobby reception. Remember, she's turning 46. Why do you need to be reminded of all this? I mean, I would have trouble remembering some of that. Well, the, the la most of that. But, like, the last part. Uh, well, I suppose I can't judge. I can't remember my own sister's birthday. So... Anticipated building shift. Follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. Well then, isn't it more of a problem that you have a protocol for all this? And the f I oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I was just trying to get through the glass. I forgot how much damage my AOE melee attack it does. Oh my goodness, you guys are- you guys are loud, no offense men- is that a dent? That's a dent. Did- was someone thrown into that? Or did I- accidentally send some- Uh. I'd like to be able to see, thank you. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss. Burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Aussie, now, now I want to hum it. Ooh. Turn that off in case I get a copyright strike, because I'd rather not have to deal with that. Urban legends. Urban legends uh, are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also di dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. John. Oh. Yeah. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's, Jung's archetypes. We recognize certain, redacted, informed by our own, redacted, and popularized by our media. 
We have additionally proven that urban legends can even be artificially redacted. In popular culture using Redacted, our Bureau made to anthology television program. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore, AWEs that only occur on Redacted. A pair of scissors that consume human Redacted through two punctures on the Redacted. These details, living in the minds of so many, have given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children. Are not urban legends are not just stories for children. They are paranatural realities waiting to happen. Refer to fi file 4-93-6942 for full report. Reminder. If you experience an Yeah, that, that one we listened to. Visitor evaluations. Oh my goodness, so much reading. How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Start with the following. Welcome to the Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, then ask them the following questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How do you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they will need to leave. If their answers, answers seem redacted, escort them to a private room. There, perform the gunner's psychological assessment. If their responses are within the acceptable range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet, then redacted immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too success sus <laughs> suspicious. I mean, there is technically such a thing as too suspicious. That's a light. What happens if I just... Okay. I don't think it's gonna break. What happens if I do this? Yeah, it only goes forward, I think. Oh, the hits are gonna be... Are in the mood to fight again, aren't they? Oh, I, I need to jump down, don't I? Oh. oh. Okay. I usually prefer looking over the right shoulder because I am right-handed, so I think that just comes nat more naturally to me. Also, sorry if the game is really loud. I got a hidden trend. I... oops. I do not have the clearance level. Oh, hey, fast travel and outfits. Are you still sane? I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, a Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. <laughs> should I tell the truth? Should I lie? I'm just evading. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. 
Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. Uh. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's fucking unbelievable. It's, I can't even... Uh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Well! What outfits do I have? I just have civilian. Cool. Uh, to be fair, though, the civilian outfit looks really good. What's... Oh! Um... It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. They just put a... They just put a... Jedi... Trick. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. <laughs> I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 <coughs> years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. 
My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay. That's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. <sighs> they call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons, too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. That's ominous. Question mark? Look, I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. <sighs> Thanks, Emily. Okay then, I'm, um, wait, what happened? Okay good, you cannot even pull the gun out. Neat. Well, that's, um, hmm. This game is fascinating so far. It's, I do like the gameplay so far, I do enjoy the like flow of combat. I should probably tune